There you are, welcome back. I have a project in mind with that Snapmaker Artisan that I showed you not so long ago. And I got inspiration from something my wife sent me on TikTok. This person takes words and then digitally fabricates them into a custom frame to kind of save the words. And I thought, that's a great idea. I, I have a machine that can 3D print and it can hit things with a laser and it can CNC mill things. And so at first, I need a word. 3DPN, that's right. Why choose I love you or high five or that's the banjo player's Porsche. If you know what that's from, you're old like me. No, 3DPN is what we're choosing. And for this, I took a picture with my phone, brought it into Photoshop, adjusted contrast, brought it into Tinkercad and created a 3D model from it. Great, that's how you do that with this text. It's not that difficult. There are free versions of softwares that you don't have to use Photoshop to do it, but there's a lot more to this project that I want to take you through. Jump on board, here we go. Now for the background of the frame, I wanted to create this kind of tiled Joelbot image and I thought it would look cool if it was routed with the CNC bit. Now I used a V bit and it's a bit that comes to a V because it's sharper on one end and I thought diving down, it would be able to make some really good details. The details, uh, quite honestly, <laughs> weren't there. It took seven and a half hours to do this job on this small piece of wood and you know, when I look at it, I'm like, this is kind of gross. It's meh. Horrific. Plus the wood was bowed a little bit, which did kind of influence what happened to it. What I'm gonna do is take that V bit, I'm gonna take it out and put a flat end mill on it. And that's so I can cut out the Joelbot tile. And in Luban, I'm able to set it up so there's tabs so it doesn't cut all the way through around the border, as what you do with CNC. And I began just cutting around the border of these tiled Joelbots. And it's going great. While the Joelbots themselves still don't look appropriate, the border is looking appropriate. And I'm able to cut it out. The Snapmaker is doing its thing. And at the end, we're stuck with some, well, honestly, it looks like Joelbots if I drew them with my non-dominant hand. It's not too good, is it, Chief? But I've got a really sweet channel around the perimeter, which is what I would use to cut it out. Unfortunately, I didn't get my depths right because, well, the wood is bowed a little bit. No matter, you know, they make tools for a reason and I can cut this out and I figure I am gonna proceed with the next path. I keep that flat end mill on the Snapmaker CNC bit and I start diving into some plywood. And the plywood is gonna be this outer frame. While the tiled Joelbots are gonna be the inner frame, the outer frame is kind of the part that is gonna frame the whole thing that I have in mind. And it's cutting away, cutting away, and I figure all is good, I go home. I come back and I'm left with death and destruction. That escalated quickly. I don't know what happened at the end. I really wish I would have witnessed this because it would have been loud and chaotic. And apparently when I leave this office, I leave an invisible chaos agent. And that's what happened here. We got to march on. So now what I did instead, I'm like, well, I can't use that wood because I destroyed it. So why don't I grab a nice clean flat piece of MDF and start chewing through that MDF is fairly easy to machine. The flat end mill has no problems getting through that and creating all sorts of tasty sawdust that we could bake into brownies and hopefully no one could tell the difference. Because it's an outer frame, I'm cutting the inner part out and then I'm cutting the outer part out. Again, the CNC bit doesn't have any sort of vacuum or air assist or anything, so I do have to go in with the vacuum cleaner while it's operating and it doesn't interfere with the operation and I just, I just go to town. When it's done, I'm really happy with what it looks like, obviously, because, well, I did a really good job. I think we have ourselves a successful outer frame. With the outer frame done, I take it off of the CNC bed and I put it on the laser bed because I did something awesome. I went to Google 
and I looked for a black and white crosshatch pattern, PNG free. And I was presented with tons of options that were neither free nor PNGs, just JPEGs in disguise. So instead what I did is I went to Adobe Firefly and I typed in white space dominant black and white crosshatch and I hit go and it gave me some amazing results. And one of which I chose as what I was going to laser into the outer frame. So the Snapmaker began lasering in that AI created image into the wood and it did a great job, a great job. So good, it looked amazing when it was done. I am beyond happy with how this turned out. Now though, it's time to readdress those tiled Joel bots. So what I did is I got some paint. In fact, it's a paint that's called Rally Blue. It's the same color as my Subaru WRX STI. And I applied it to a white piece of ABS plastic. And then I let it dry in the Seattle sunshine. And then what I did is I put it in the laser. And instead of a CNC process for those tiled Joel bots, I used a laser process to burn off that paint in the shape of tiled Joel bots. And when it was done, it was a religious experience because I couldn't believe what I had seen before my eyes. It was glorious. The next step was to take that tiled Jolbot ABS plastic and move it onto the CNC bed and using the flat end mill, cut it out. I have to cut it out bigger than the outer frame inner square so that it can mount to the back. And so I measure that out and I start cutting. And this flat end mill chews up ABS plastic like you wouldn't believe. And when it was done, there was a giant mess that I was able to vacuum. It did get a little bit of plastic on the drill bit. It's fine, I picked it off. Now though, it was time to 3D print that graphic I made in Tinkercad at the very, very beginning. And I utilized the dual extruders on the Snapmaker Artisan. And I used a white, generic white for the background and high five blue from Protopasta for the three, the D, the P, and the N. And I have to tell you, it turned out glorious. Absolutely glorious. I've got all the parts now. It's time. Let's go. So what I do first is utilize a little Dremel with a cutting disc and I cut out the pieces from the, that I see in seed. So the, the outer frame, I was able to cut out the tabs and this, the tile Joel bot, I was able to cut out the tabs. And then once I cut those out, I actually have an oscillating spindle sander and I brought that out to sand the inner and the outer parts of the frame and the outer parts of the tiled Joel bot. Once I had all the pieces all finished up, I took it up to my office. I added some super glue and we turned this idea into this. Oh, look at it. I can see it. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love this. Now remember, remember, this is a culmination of determination, passion, love, tears, sweat, joy, sadness. Take your pick. The original tile Joel bots didn't work out with the CNC bit. Even though I was really sad, I persevered. I found another way to do it. I utilized another material and then I painted it with my favoriteest color ever and it looks glorious. And for the border, this outer border, MDF mills so good and using AI to create a crosshatch pattern that I could then use to hit with a laser. Oh, it looks so good. And then this 3D print, look at that. High five blue and a generic white as the border. That looks so good. I mean, I was being cheeky when I said 3D PN, but maybe I should have put I love you on this. This would make a fantastic gift for someone. Maybe not the Joel bots, maybe not the 3D PN, but the, the words of a loved one. You could have them write words and then you could bring them into software to adjust contrast, bring them into Tinkercad to make them 3D and then print them out with a custom frame. And I use the Snapmaker Artisan because it has the CNC and the laser and I wanted to give it a try, but you could do this with 100% 3D printing. In fact, I bet some of you already have. Well, listen, thanks for coming along on this journey. Don't let failure get you down, learn from it and adjust and continue to make something special. 
If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Craft all the things. And as always, high five.